Hello everyone and welcome back to Sly Cooper 2 Band of Thieves Part 30. We had to deal with the annoying barrel run in the last episode and now we got the Sly and Bentley um mashup. Disable that engine room. You and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay. You should take your position. All right, Sly, where's it's your hat? It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys with their keys. There's five keys. Um, you stop moving. Thanks, buddy. Let's leave that one for last since I have to go over that way to begin with. Buddy, you want to take a little nap for me? Great. Did not work out the way I planned. Let's try this. Let's get back to the Hanson. All right, so docking my prey. Get up. 
All right, Bentley. Make me proud in there. Yeah, I missed. Okay, Bentley, you're on. left. Come on. Okay, pal. You're all set to bounce up to the next level. If I'm reading this right, it looks like you need to bomb those power nodes to get into the control room. Once that door is open, you'll be able to shut this engine down for good. <laughs> Unexpected windfall? I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. Yeah, she's gonna come immortal, and we're going to deal with this. All right, who's? Okay, Sly. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blip. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. <laughs> All 
right? So we need to get up to those, and then we can start beating up Clock Clock. Later, loser! What's in your pocket first? Thank you. Appreciate it. Where? It's proving to be a little difficult here. Thank you. properly. Okay, I should be able to make it to at least the platform of the other one over here. Nope, I'm probably going to even make it up to the second one. There we go. Like the mega jump pack's gone. Of course, I'm gonna be thrown all the way back over here. Come on, we gotta stop this angry bird. Not flirty chit chat. Um, great. Nice shooting. That should get her attention. It would be even better if these guns didn't overheat. Right, this is uh...
50 hitting rockets are slower moving. We're getting through! Learn to aim! Learn quick! Yep. It's gonna be a fun fight. Stop overheating and they stop Keep shooting freaking blasts that I can't avoid. is going to be a major annoyance. when she gets red-eyed, she's probably ready to fire the uh, unavoidable blast. Oh, I need to hit her face. Throw 
got three of them out now. Why? Why is this being so difficult?
different strategy with this. strategy on flying, on shooting here. Shooting this bird. You should have been a cop. That was some terrific shooting. We died about five times or so. Sly, we've got a serious problem here. Lockalo's looking mighty upset, and I think she's going to take it out on us. And it looks like we have to rescue Bentley and Murray now. I'm coming, guys. Hold on. Got that one. Um, okay. I'm scared, Sly. Hurry. You know, Bentley, because you just said you were scared, I'm not going to hurry now. Great. Please don't tell me we have to go through the entire fight again. Thank the Lord! Y'all just bouncing around in there like sardines, aren't you? Help! Anyone! 
SOS! Calm down, Bentley. I'm coming. Stabbing coward, we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have been without you one of your hate, but I feel some some power growing within me. Out. That thing's still kicking. Lachla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. All right. All right, Murray, come on. I hate you, Cooper Gang. I will find you in your sleep and I will destroy you. You will never know I'm on this beast for the rest of your shock, miserable lives. The clock lock will know revenge. I am revenge. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Clock lock! I don't need to try to play hopscotch over this thing. gang had been defeated and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. 
Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Or Bentley. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon, Ringtail. Great ending. I'm gonna leave the credits going so you guys can read the credits. Nice little message from the creators. And that's 100% of the game. That's all of the um, safes open. That's the entire story. I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this series. Oh, what's this? That was new. 
See if we can pop up again. Ah, it's just the credits. Um... Well, on that note, let's just say, let's like wrap it up. All right, guys. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you really enjoy this content, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.